Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to perform a factory reset and restore your iPhone 12 Pro Max. So let's begin with the video now. So what's up everyone, welcome back to Surge Tech, Sergio here. In this channel I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. There's gonna be links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description down below, so do check that out. And let's get right on with the video. So the reason you may wanna do this, maybe your phone is freezing up and you can't do anything about it, or you just wanna delete everything and sell it or trade it away, or also maybe you just forgot your passcode and you can access to your phone. So I'm gonna show you two methods to do this and the first one is going to be if you know the password on your phone and that's going to be through the settings so the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings and you're going to head down to general once in there scroll down all the way until you go to reset and right there we're going to have this option right here called erase all content settings and if you press on it it's going to tell you that everything is going to be erased and you're going to lose all the documents and data that are being uploaded in the iCloud and then you can select erase now once you do that it's going to ask you to enter your passcode and after you enter your passcode you're going to have a last option to confirm which is going to tell you this is going to delete all media and data and reset all settings and if you're ready you can go ahead and select that option that says erase iPhone and your factory reset will begin. Next up is going to be the second method and this is going to be specifically if you forgot your passcode and you just can't access to your phone but you do want to perform that factory reset so we're going to do it now. So what we need to perform this hard reset is going to be just a cable that you can plug in to a laptop it can be any Mac or any computer but if you don't have a Mac you're gonna need iTunes and if you have a Mac then you don't need to worry about that so you just need to plug in your phone to the laptop so now that my phone is connected to my laptop all we're gonna do is press volume up and after that we're gonna press volume down and the plug button or the power button at the same time so we do one and two so now that we have this on display, you're going to want to slide the power off and then once you do that, you're going to hold once again volume down and the power button at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to slide and we're going to press volume down and the power button. So we're just going to wait a couple seconds and now that we see the Apple logo, we continue to hold. And now this is going to pop up in a screen that it's going to say there is a problem with the iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. And as you can see on the iPhone, we're going to have this picture right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to select either update or restore either or is going to send you to the same process so I'm just going to go ahead and do the restore option and it's going to tell us that everything is going to be erased to its factory settings so we just go restore and update we select next I agree and then the software is going to begin to download it shouldn't take that long it's only around 13 minutes to get the software update and then another 15 or maybe 12 minutes to get the factory reset and now that we are on one minute left as soon as the software update is completed it's going Going to start downloading into our phone and an apple logo is going to pop up on the screen and here we have the apple logo so we're just going to wait until this bar completes and this is going to take just a couple minutes and now we have the message that our iphone has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting at the moment so we're going to see the apple logo once again in a couple seconds and your phone is going to be completely on factory settings so we can see the bar once again and i'm just going to press ok and now we're going to be back on our phone we just have to wait until this bar completes and now here we have it, our phone is completely back on factory settings. So that was it on how to perform a factory reset and how to restore your iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment down below if it helped you out. Subscribe for more videos like this and as always, I will see you in the next video.